What's going on guys? Welcome to my Premier League table predictions for the 23-24 season. It's going to be an exciting one. It starts very soon with Burnley Man City and uh, I think we're in for a very, very good year. Now the transfer window is still open so a lot could still happen. So this is still quite early to be fair. Uh, just before our ball's kicked, uh, it is the Thursday currently. I'm not sure when this will go out. Maybe, maybe it will go out on Thursday, maybe Friday, but it's before a ball's been kicked. So, like I said, things could change with transfers. There's a Kane could be going to Bayern Munich. So, if that happens, Tottenham will probably drop down in my estimations. Uh, but let's just go straight into it. So, as you can see on the other side of the screen now is my phone. So, if you see me looking off camera, it's because I'm I'm on my phone right now doing the predictor on the, the FOTMOB app. And um, I'm just going to basically keep scrolling to, to put teams in a position. I think it needs changing. I'll change it. And then when it comes to the end, uh, we'll, we'll have a little bit of debate about it. But let's go for my bottom three. So we'll scroll right to the bottom. I'm going to go. I'm going to put Wolves in 18th. I think they're going to go. Um, I think the other team gone. Bottom, in my opinion, is Sheffield United. They sold Illumin and Jai. They sold Sander Berge. Uh, they've only brought in Souza and the, and obviously a few other players, but nothing like really you can shout about. I think they're in big trouble. Um, a lot of people said Luton will go down bottom. Can't see it. I think Luton will, will be quite hard to beat in some games this year, especially at home. But I think away f away from home is well, when Luton will get found out. But I'm going to go Sheffield United bottom, Luton, when it lets me drag it, second bottom, and Wolves third bottom they're the three teams i think will get relegated from the premier league this season i'm gonna go forest 17th no i think that's just as it stands with our squad uh not many signings coming in. we're still we're still lacking in a few areas but i'm gonna go that and then gonna go everton 16th and then I can see. I think Fulham will drop off a bit. They'll be they'll be down here this year. Um, Palace will be mid table. They'll be fine. Burnley, they'll be fine. But I'll sort them out soon. And I think Bournemouth will be okay as well. But uh, I'm gonna put West Ham above Fulham. Burnley below Palace. Uh, I'm gonna keep. The bottom half of the table as that so far from 20th to 11th. I think Sheffield United go down bottom. Luton and Wolves also join them. Forest just survived as it stands with the signs we've made in the way the current squad is. Everton, Fulham, West Ham. I think that could be a mix-up of any, any of them teams switch, switching and swapping places. West Ham out of the three could go the highest with... Using some of that rice. I mean, War Prowse is meant to be coming in. Harry Maguire is meant to be coming in. They've just signed Edson Alvarez. So they're, they're starting to spend a bit of that money. I still want to see a bit more in the attacking uh, areas at West Ham. Some money being spent. Uh, but I'm going to go with that so far. Burnley, I think they'll do well, but not as well as people think. People think they could go and push for like 10th, which is bang on mid-table. I don't think they'll do that good. I think the style of play that they'll want to play will get found out and it's easy to play against for, for some of the bigger teams like City, Arsenal, United and even like the Tottenham's and stuff will find it easier to play against Burnley but I do think they'll have a good year. Palace, a uh, bit of a hard one obviously losing Zaha but I think Eze is going to step up massively this season. Uh, probably going to be their player of the season. He's going to be crucial to everything they do and obviously keeping Elise if they do because he could be going Chelsea, could be going City. But if they keep him, then they could be in for a hell of a season. Bournemouth got rid of Gary O'Neill, new manager in the through the door, and they signed some cracking players. And as of today, they're meant to be signing Max Ahrens and uh, Alex Scott from Norwich and Bristol City, respectively. And I think they're two cracking signers, especially at championship level, but they've got to the point, especially Alex Scott, where he's probably outgrown the championship. He needs to try and go for the Premier League. Ahrens obviously played in the Premier League a few years ago for Norwich, and uh, I thought he would have got his move away and much sooner from when they when they got relegated but he didn't he stayed around but i think i'm going to go for that as my 20th to 11th now into the top 10 and this is where it gets interesting oh doo -doo -doo -doo. i'm gonna go brentford 10th now losing losing ivan tony much bigger than i think a lot of people think they've not really gonna replace him not really spent much money losing david rye as well to arsenal 
if they don't go and spend some money towards the end of this window, they could be, they could even drop into the the, the 14th, 15th area. Um, but I think they'll be okay. They, they just find a way of surviving, don't they? So I'm going to go Brentford 10th. I'm then going to go Brighton 9th. Now losing McAllister, they're probably going to lose Caicedo. They brought in Milner, they brought in Verbruggen, the new goalkeeper. They've obviously lost Robert Sanchez, but he didn't play towards the end of the end of the year last year. And uh, brought in João Pedro, which I think is a good signing. But I don't think the top quality and they've not really replaced McAllister. They brought in De Hood. Is he going to be on McAllister's level? Is anyone going to be on Caicedo's level if they bring anyone in? I'm not too sure. And I just think the quality in the top ten this year is ridiculous. So I'm going to go for Brighton ninth. And. Oh, this is hard. I'm going to go Newcastle 8th. Now, it's a bit of a shock considering they finished 4th last year. And they had a fantastic year. But I just don't think they spent the money that well this year. Harvey Barnes, good signing. Tonali, good signing. But will he hit the ground running? I'm not too sure. Livermento, he's just going to be a backup. Unless he plays at left back, which is not his position. Um, they've still got the Dan Burns, the Fabian Shaws of the world still in that Champions League squad and I think with the extra Champions League games they're going to struggle uh, I think they'll still do well Eighth is still well for Newcastle in my opinion uh, Newcastle struggled for so many years so I think just comp like cementing themselves as a top eight side really um, I think they'll do well but then I'm going to no I'm not I'm going to put Villa seventh Villa definitely have the potential to go and do what Newcastle did last year, maybe even nick into the top four. Highly unlikely, but they could do it. They've got a cracking squad, cracking manager and Emery. Um, some of the signings, Pau Torres, T. Elements, Kamara last year, Carlos last year. We're really going to see what they're about this year. And uh, they did well last year getting into Europe. And I think they're going to do even uh, well as good as what they did last year. Uh, but the, I think they're going to play a bit better and get some better results. Tottenham, I'm happy for them to go sixth. Um, under Ange Postacoglu, a bit of a transition in season for them. I think he's a good manager and I think he's what Tottenham need. Um, but like I said, if Harry Kane goes, then I could see Tottenham going down to ninth. Especially if they don't replace... Who can replace Harry Kane, really? Um, but as it stands, I'm going to put Tottenham into sixth. I'm then going to go... Liverpool fifth. I think they just missed out on the top four again, um, but they. I'm going to predict. I'll probably predict them to win the Europa League, um, so they'll get a Champions League spot anyway. Plus, there's the the new rule of the, the fifth spot could be a, a Champions League spot this year because of the new UEFA rules. Um, but I'm going to go Liverpool fifth, Chelsea then bang on fourth. I think it's between Chelsea or Liverpool for that fourth spot, and I just think. Pochettino, new season, new manager. They've got a few good players. Nicholas Jackson in. Um, they're signing Tyler Adams. Could be Kaiseido, could be Lavia. And Kunku's going to come back from his injury, which is disappointing for him. But he's going to come back and be a cracking player. They've still got Sterling's, Mudrick, Madoeke, uh, Enzo Fernandez, Thiago Silva, Levi Colwell's back, Robert Sanchez in goal, Reese James Chilwell. If they keep the squad fit, that's a top four squad. Um, and then going to go City to win the league, which is obvious. And then the only debate is Arsenal or United for second and third. Um, Man, well, both teams have recruited well. Man United bringing in Hoyland, um, Onana. Could be um, Amrabat coming in. Could be a few different signings coming in. Pavard. Um, Arsenal brought Havertz, Timber, Rice. They've really strengthened. You know, I'm going to keep it as it is, same as last season. City, Arsenal, United as the top three. I think that's how it's going to go. And um, but yeah, they're my final prediction. So as you can see, City, Arsenal, United, Chelsea is the top four. Liverpool, Tottenham, Villa, Newcastle, and then Brighton, Brentford, Bournemouth, Palace, Burnley in that mid-table area, and then West Ham, Fulham, Everton, Forest just staying up, and the three teams to go down. Wolverhampton Wanderers, Luton and Sheffield United. But that's going to do it for the end of the video and the end of my predictions. Let me know in the comments down below whether you agree with me, whether you disagree, what your predictions are, 1 to 20, who do you think will go down, top 4, European spots, who do you think will win the league. 
And uh, yeah, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't for more Premier League content. And until next time, see ya.